All right, guys, here we go. We are at the Tour Championship final round. This is round four of four. We got decent wins, four to seven. That's pretty good here at East Lake. I hate this course, uh, but I think the win's gonna be all right for us. And happy Easter, today is Easter. That's why I decided to play some golf. I know a lot of the members will be doing their own things, family, so uh, I'm, all, I'm home here just hanging out, probably gonna watch some baseball later. But for now, we are gonna finish out our season three. And this is the John Daly series. Let's rip it and rip it. So here we go. East Lake Golf Club. You know, I will say this this course gave me more problems on 2K sports. EA than on each, uh, EA. And the PGA I don't know why that Tour. is. Same so course. Proud to present the season long race for the FedEx Cup. From East Lake Golf Club in Atlanta, Georgia, it's the Atlanta. final round of the Tour Championship. Final what round. A week and weekend this has been Gorgeous. so far. Everything you want in a golf tournament. By nightfall, we will have our winner. As you take a look at the current leaderboard on this Sunday afternoon, our leader here on this Sunday is our featured golfer. You know He's it is, baby. Shot advantage here to begin play. All right, come on, John. Grip it and rip it, baby. A little short, a little short. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. First, first swing of the stream is always a tough one. Now. We're on the form, fairway. That a huge six five fairway to get this Sunday round started. We'll need to catch this God, solid this 190 yards away. I swear I hate this hole. I just hate it. That wind did not kick it down like it was supposed to. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't hash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Big roll. Stop, stop, stop. Dude, I barely hit that. We may end up fooling around on bogey in the last that round here. That would be quite a challenge from there to get away with his par. If, if he can make this, I'll just take it and run to the next hole. And never went left. So this was probably a bad idea, stopping the stream. Well, yeah, we, we had to, based on what I had played. But All right, starting the final round off on a brand new stream without any around. strokes in, that, we're tied it's now. It's going to be a rare drop shot. You know, I should be doing this like when I'm, I'm in mid form. Here. There we go. Get up. That's a great shot. That's a great shot. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. Ah. Uh, nope. That finished off four par here with the second. And that's going to preserve this tenuous one shot lead. He, he bogeyed. Right, Get right ball. Woo, he killed it. Look at that driving spin sensation all week. And here's rip it and rip one it that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. So, a big drive, and not much needed to carry here for his second. I flop. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful shot. A four footer here for Birdie. Okay, oh, nicely done. That's in for Birdie here at three. That means he'll get it to 22 under par. Took our two stroke lead back. Over here. Down in the middle. All right, in the fairway. Second, Second shot, shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. 139, the number to the flagstick today. 
And that wind, it's coming from right to left, so you might need to start this a little bit to the right side. Hold. I like the looks of this one. Beautiful. Now there's a good strike in there, just a little left of the hole. Oh, but yeah, we we keep it like this, we'll win. It's about 50 50 chance on the PJ Tour of making a birdie. There we go. Oh, a good run going here early. This is birdies at three and oh, three four. now. He's going to move to 23 under par. I went left, but maybe not enough. So now from just 76 yards away, here's his second. Get it up, Big John. Get it up. Come on back. There we go. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, good song. Get it, hands. Get it in the hole. Nicely done. This Trying to get it in a hole. Feet. Oh, how about the run here? That Suck on that, East Lake. Consecutive birdie. That's going to move him to 24 under par. Oh. Yep. And that I always hit that tree. I try to get over there, but I just, just can't do it. Up in the bunker, getting out more important than distance here as he readies his second. Trying to get it up there. Bunker to bunker, no. Problem was going to start with that tee shot. Once it found the bunker, needed a cool head and a second shot the bunker. found the fairway. Not quite there though. That's a fantastic shot. We'll take par and move right along. From four feet for Bird. Can't win them all. Oh, everything going oh we birdied right that now. anyway. I forgot that was par five. Consecutive birdie. We did all that nonsense He's and we still birdied it. One D five under par now. He's been hitting right a little bit more than he should. That's looking gravy. So, dude. Yeah, why not? Another great tee shot. Maybe a chance now to go after what would be a fifth consecutive birdie. No, hey, no Back problem, right man. You location know, here as he gets set for if you're available today, to we'll play four. some. I played a little bit this morning. I just got my stuff, dude. So I did a pieces. I I understand the helm wager a little bit better on the pieces of eight now. Um, so what it is? So let's say you got five pickup locations, right? And you pick up one, you pick up two. Then on the third one, it asks you for your wager. It's only going to double that one and any others you pick up on the way. So I just did a 19,000 pickup run in about five minutes. 19,000 pieces of eight, dude. Because, um, so like, let's say you pick up 2,000, you pick, and okay, you pick up 2,000, and then you pick up 2,000 on that third one. It's going to double to two to four. And double everything you put in from there. So if you just, if you go, let's say, it would never be wise to do a helm wager on your last or second to last stop. If you want to get it on your first or second stop, hit your stops. It'll double everything you're doing. So that's why, because I knew something was messed up. I just wasn't getting something there. So this morning, I jumped on and to do my daily stuff real quick. And it came up on like my second or third stop. So I hit that one, and I hit one or two more. They weren't totally full, and then I went to the thing, and it, we dropped off 19,000. It was beautiful. And I sunk a player. Or I didn't – I was in there. I was trying to board him. Like, I literally was going to board a player ship that came after me. I wrecked him so hard. But at any rate, that's, uh, that was a pretty cool thing, I thought. So those make sense depending on when they give them to you. Oh, that's shy. A little shy. But we'll go ahead and chip this. Oh man. He didn't hit a straight. 
You gotta hit that Lord straight, Big John D. The game have been in sync today. A terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that. Well, I'll, I'll be. Uh, it was a really nice. I'll shot. be a diamond level soon, which is cool. I'm, I'm gonna be one of the top. Not one of the top, like, top ten guys or anything. That's crazy. But like, I will be in the top tier when this season ends. So I'll, I'm looking forward to the cool stuff they're gonna give me. <laughs> But yeah, if you're home later, and I don't know, uh, and I don't know if you got family stuff planned or whatever. But if you don't, we can hop on at the end of the stream, no doubt. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notabagay the third. One ten gets to the hole. Pin sitting on the left half of the green. Gotta be a little bit careful here. Get in the hole. It's going left. It's going a little bit to this left. This is a good oh, looking gap. There we go. Wedge. Oh, <laughs> very nice shot. What three well, no feet to the hole? We've already seen some bright iron shots this week, but that John is out there looking like a young John. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eight. Oh, we're and crushing it. We're up by four. This is for the championship, baby. Six under par. This, this the championship. I wish I was out there golfing right now. Oh, that was no good. That and I no think that good. may have surprised him. That came much further than he anticipated. Now, hey, nothing surprises John three. Daly except for a paternity suit, so I don't want to hear it. He's, he knew what he was doing. Ah! Well, obviously that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his Nobody best. cares what you forget. Oh, oh, we bogey. No, I thought that was in for sure. Just a little jive right at the end. Of All right, we'll, we'll see what time it is and what's going on. I'll be okay, around. A shake of the head as that one is finished off. Right, we're up by three. And this is we're at the turn. The down to three shots. Looking good on the strokes, though. Looking good. Swinging it good today. Swing Another good, good tee shot just down lots the right grips, side. Lots of grips, lots of grips. Flag cut on the left. You can see exactly where you want to go. Yeah, we want to make sure if anything we go too far. Let me finesse this and go. We want to go too far than too short because this green is a monster. This one looks right on point. That's it. That's it. And that's the shot. A touch long, a touch left. No, that's Still, a touch where we wanted to. Because this green sucks over there. He was not interested. Cut, cut. Oh, that didn't cut. I mean, it did at the end, didn't it? Hit a little too hard, I think. We will gladly take par. So that's in for par to start this par, Are we far out? We probably win this thing. I don't think Marshall's going to put in three. three. Three more birds. I don't think so anyway. Try to get this one to calm down if we can. Not an easy shot. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. Iona's down there. This for birdie. Well, for a long putt like this, there's really not a whole lot to... Just tapped it. Just tapped it. Oh, it's going. Oh, what a bomb. For the bird. That's bonus bird. 30-footer. And the lead grows to three with seven holes Yeah, your mom likes it when it grows. Look at that. Well, you can't walk out of here any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Good chance to get one in close from here. This is second. It's a big hill. Okay, Dang, that's a bigger hill than I anticipated. Work to do from there. Yeah, that's, no, that's up a foot, no wonder. And this really is all about visualization. You've got to see the line in your head, pick out a spot, maybe a foot, foot and a half in front of oh, you. Oh, it kissed the whole little rim. Just gonna sneak on it by. just kissed the rim. 
That one safely in, makes a part here at 12. And this will stay a four shot advantage with time running out. Yeah, I had the brig, the dude. Yeah, did you, uh, you were on last night, right? You seen the ghost ship, right? Did you see the, the, the sand book I made? Was you on? I feel like I would have, like, remembered talking to you about it, and I don't. Looks you so might have went to bed. Going good, doesn't it? But it I think you went to bed, and Another then I played Skull and Bones after the baseball. Right whole location as he prepares. You should see that ship I made, four. man. The damage it puts out. You know what? I'm gonna drop two clubs. We gotta go wedge here. Yep. Oh, and the wind got more than I thought. Yep. Oh, I kept it out of the sand. That's not bad. The wind definitely got a hold of it. Oh, look at this. This is a monster shit. Oh, perfect. And the hole. Boom. Everything is coming up roses for our leader. Everything's coming up roses. It from off the green to extend that lead. We made that, baby. We told that hole to shut its mouth. As picturesque as they come. Yeah, but I played on after the show. I played uh, Skull and Bones, and I showed everybody my ghost ship. I made a ghost ship. It looks freaking awesome. The sand buck. I called it dialing, dialing, dialing. Because it spits hot fire. Well, that's right at the pin. A little too far, though. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Yeah, I mean, anything like that, it's it's not uh, meant for those kind of ships. Stop. Man, I barely hit that. I was going to hit it harder, and I'm glad I didn't. Well, most of the, like, La Pest and, and the Ghost Ship and all that, they have immunity against special effects. So, yeah, you just want to go with high output, like the darts. Because most of those ships have, you know, they're, they're not going to allow you to just burn them and knock their sails down. You know what I mean? They're just, they're just not going to allow it to happen. But I would still use that in a fight because of the cargo. The Sandbook's cargo is second to none. Yeah, that one came in a little hot. It's safely on, but it'll be a long look coming up. I own this, a birdie putt. Yeah, it's a long putt, so pace is important, but there's not a whole lot to it. I fancy the chances of getting this close. It's a bomb. Slow down. Slow down. Oh. I haven't seen people use a lot of different ships. I still like the Brig as a favorite because of the speed. Like, that's why I do my pieces of eight run and everything with. And this one, close to being over, as it'll remain a five But that, that Sam Buck, the dialing, the dialing, 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 man, that's up close. Normal ships, anything, no chance, no chance. You just got to get close. Like, I'm taking out Conda, three-plus person convoys. By myself, so Iona, with this ease. Is second with from ease. The fairway. Yes, there's 135 yards to the flag. Pin on the left portion of this green, so it will favor a wee draw. A wee draw. Come on back, come on. That's it, that's it. Yeah, yeah. And that ball looked very oh, good but, in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still... On the green. John D. Oh, I didn't go enough. I've been going too much. Quite online and Thought I had that one lined up just right. That was a big putt, but. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Okay. Let's see if we can't give this a ride. Let's see if we can't give this a ride. We're going for. Baby, we're, we're going for green. Give it a ride, put it in a hole, par four, suck it. Bam! 
That's a drive. I'm not holding. Oh back. Lord, on the green in the air. Oh, we just hit it to the next tee. Yeah, it might be on the rock, but that was wow, absolutely Wow, what a crushed. shot over the. And set for a second shot here at 17. Let's see if he can finish with a good one. This ball in the rough, but a pretty good lie. That was for Eagle. 10 foot putt left. Killed it. Dang. Oh, finishing strong. That's in for Burton. That's the par 4, 17, and, and, and East Lake. And we hit the green in the air. Six oh, we won. We, we beat uh, Danny Glover. No chance, Danny. No chance. Grip it and rip it, John, for the tour championship. <laughs> We played all season for this. Boom. That is right where you want this t -shirt I love to holes that end on a par five. The of I feel the every course should end on a par five. Green. Drop it. Ah, oh, great shot! Just a just little bit too far. Offline. How about the chances for getting it up and down from that spot? Well, it's not in the thick stuff, Rich. So that's um, advantage number one. Really lies pretty good. Oh, that was for Eagle. It's a standard pitch. A little far. A little far. Hmm. And for the championship, a little shy. Oh no, that never had a chance. That three inches was a big three inches there. I don't know who was measuring that, but game. Yes, what a final round this was from being on the outside looking in to a big lead. As we'll watch and wait, this we want it. must feel like this will be a victory. Frank, always great to it better be a victory. Yeah, we won it by like five strokes, six strokes. So good holes, and we saw plenty of outstanding shots today. And I hope everybody goes there you go, Big John D. Winning championships. We really yeah. All is right so with the world. All of us here. Um, it's fun to take a little trip.
Starting a new EA season. Sports. That's a beautiful looking hole and right there. The PGA <laughs> Tour <laughs> like are a proud date. to present this first step on the season long race for the FedEx Cup. From La Quinta, California and La Quinta. PGA West, it's the opening La Quinta, round of Quinta. the first tournament of the new year, the American Express. Well, it's been a long off season. Everyone here looking Not really. To get we their just got done with the season about five off minutes on the ago. Right foot. What better place to do it than Look at that right beautiful here in As we see what's going on here in round one. Ripped it. We've got a tie at the top at six under par. Pretty good roll. Pretty good roll. Always nice to get that first one out of the way, and that's going to be a good one to get this tournament started. I think we'll go ahead and uh, uh, from the fairway, miss. ninety-eight yards remaining yes. for his second. Play the wind. Get it up, John. That's looking titty. Come on. Oh, oh, come on back. Oh, missed it by an inch. Missed making. Oh, that would have. That would be a way to start the and season. That ball not gonna stick as it makes it. Almost, man. We're gonna putt this. Front edge of the green. I'm gonna go up about there. We almost made that. It's a. That's a tricky looking little shot here. It's in the hole. Shut your mouth. Oh, uh, that's how you do it right there. The approach misses the target, but the putter coming through from off the green. We almost made that, that eagle. Is a bit of a surprise birdie. Bro, don't be surprised. No, this is John Daly. No surprises here. Just don't hit that tree, John. Don't hit that tree now. Uh-oh. Time to get the beach towel out, I reckon. Yep. The second hole, not long, but it is well bunkered, and that tee shot is going to wind up. It is definitely well sand. bunkered. It's a big bunker shot. Oh, but that's how John does it. <laughs> uh, that's how you can take advantage of this course. Big drive, fine bunker shot, and a good look coming up for a three. Yes. Can't ask for better We're looking to go 18 under here. Yes, it is back to back birdies at one and two. We're definitely looking for the uh, for the perfect the perfect game. Rip it and rip it, baby, every day, all day. And I'll live my life. Shot that fits the eye, and that'll be just fine. Beautiful look at the Santa Rosa Mountains in the background as he readies his second. We want to go about right here. Shoot. Shoot, that's in between clubs. And, and that's in between clubs. Yep. I knew it. I was using shorter long. It, I thought I could get it there if I swung harder, but it did not happen. Beautiful shot. Now we're gonna have to get at least one eagle if we're gonna go uh, 18 under here in the first round. So that safely in, it's a par view of the third. Filthy par. And he'll stay at two under. And okay, these greens don't roll much. Chances there, a good safe play in the middle portion of the green. We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look at birdie. And he should be able to control the speed. It's up. Oh, nailed it. Much break in it. Maybe just a touch Perfect. Got the speed on that. Oh, John can grip this and rip it. I know I'm going for it. I am going over the water. Holy crap, here we go. Look at a duck down there. There's a big duck. You better watch out. This one could go astray. All right, John. Come on, baby. Get up. Over the water. That one flirting Let's with go. The left edge Let's go. The oh, yes. And I hit it over the golf cart path. I wish I would have hit the golf cart path. 
Plenty that ball would have freaking rocketed. Hammered, and that'll set up a good look into this fifth green. This is a par Definitely five. We only how much is left? 154 two. yards this, on a par five. Oh, Lord, we're gonna pull out the we're gonna pull out the wedge. Come on, get up there. Get up there. That's it. That's it. We're looking for eagle. It is one of the more satisfying shots in golf, isn't it? Downwind to a par five the second, you knock it on. Chance for eagle. Certainly shortens up the par five. Get that eagle, John. But you can Get that eagle. Come on, left. There it. Oh, no. Sail towards the green. Mm, that had a pretty good line. Very close. No, to we in. missed it by an inch. Like, it just came up short. These greens yeah, don't run fast one. at all. Back to back birdies here at four. Dude, that drive five. though was beautiful. And he'll get it now to four under par. Just two shots off the lead. Oh, I didn't push it right enough. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. Yeah, I didn't push it right enough. Here at six. It is such a I have to be careful. There's water this over there, but I thought that for sure we get it. It's into the rough. Right than that. Terrible shot. Terrible shot. With all the elements of his game have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three foot circle around the hole. It was a really nice shot. Oh, you know, John wants this. The wind ain't going to allow it. We're going for it. I don't care. Come on, John. Grip it and rip it, baby. Bam! Come on! Against the wind, too. Can we make oh, this it? This is right, and this is big trouble. Get it! Oh! Mm, we missed by about a foot. Too tall in order. Trying to fly it all the way to this seventh green, and that'll wind up at the bottom of the pond. Okay, so the drop taken, and that will set up... Tin cup, man. His Tin cup. Now to this par four. We still can't make it up there. That's bull crap. Oh, we bounce it into that little island. <laughs> we put it in the island in the middle of the bunker. What is this crap? Get in a hole somehow now. That's a good shot. Okay, sensible play right there. And that one on deck. He has a 12-footer here. Oh, well, that at least was a good putt. It could have very well gone in. John Daly playing like John Daly, though. You either going to win big or you're going to mess up. Down, but it's a six at the par four. A double bogey right there. That's, That's going to drop bogey. him to two under. It's all right, you know. You you win some, you lose some. But you got to try. Make no mistake, you always got to try. Oh, that's up the golf cart path. Oh, bounced right over the golf cart. Yeah, path. that's a big drive. It's going to make its way over the cart path. Making its way downtown. Good look to this par five. Oh, stay right. Stay right. Frank, I'm always amazed how quickly fortunes can change in this game. Big number on That's the a part. This is for Eagle. And a big shot oh, look at right that green, though. To get it all back. Well, they only change if you've got skill, Rich. We saw the mess, as you detailed on the previous hole. But all of us is all of a sudden yeah, standing. That was big time. That was big time. Like we got birdie out of Show this, Show us though. the skill on this par five. That makes the difference. So now These par fives so far have been very doable. Birdie. Yes. A good roll two par fives, two birdies. With eagle uh, attempts on both, or uh, eagle putts, actually. I like this course, though. It, it, it does allow you, it's a good first 
course, you know. It allows you to really just grab just the driver and go to this point around. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairway, hit the rhythm means hit the on. middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Are we looking? Are we coming back? You know we are. Oh yeah. Look at that. Uh, could have just done with a little bit more for breakfast. Just a little short. Maybe I'm being harsh. It's a good shot. This would be a good way to finish off the front side. Yep, that's nicely done. It's two birds in a row there. Tonight. That'll mean this is a 32 on the front or under par. Looking good, looking good, looking good. A lot of water out here, but we're avoiding it we for the most part. We're going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. This is why you practice these shots from under 100 yards. You bond your drive. Now it's time for the touch shot. Zip one in there close. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Get on up. Come on down now. It's coming back. It's coming back. Oh, look, man. I am just barely missing these shots. A little further right. A little Touch further shots right. are looking close. gravy. Looking good. Perfect. Now uh, that's the way to start the backside. A perfect. Your mom read. likes it when it's I start the backside. 10, and he'll move to within a shot of the lead at five under par. Rip it, rip it, Big D. Boom. <laughs> oh, that's that goes right as I anticipated. Yeah, that stayed left, huh? Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. Boom! Hit it over it. I dare say a touch too Hit it aggressive. Over. Trying to fly it all the way and expect it to hold. It is very ambitious. Look what's happened. Yeah. A nice little chip getting ready for uh, birdie. Look what happened. Ten feet. Chance we got a little closer. Another we got birdie. a little closer. But we got it. We got it. Boom. Oh, yes. Boom. I'm pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. We just tied the lead, and they're done. Like, you know, we don't need to power this one, though. We're going to let, let off of the power there. Almost hit that tree. Oh, roll it back. Roll it back, John. There you go. Nice. See, now in real life, that'd be shot. nearly impossible to get narrow down there. Like, Little unlikely to anyway. get into the first cut. You know it's on the fairway, man. Like going downhill. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Okay, on the green, but that's going to leave a putt that will get your attention. Got it. Killing these putts. One. It's Killing these putts. Birdies that's five straight. Daly takes the lead because that's what Daly does. Looking for the hole in one here. Here we go. Too far right. A little too, too much right. spice on that one. That flies the green and heavy chipping out of the rough. This will test the skill set here. It's his second. How's that for a skill set? Well judged. That is in for par here at 13. Too far for he'll stay at 700. What's up, honey boy? How's it going? Oh man, that's that's you. A, you a John Daly fan, Pony Boy? And there's only one answer to that question. Only one proper answer. Yeah, we got no chance to get up there. We're gonna have to drop down the three wood. Try to put it about right there. Come on, Big D. Get it up. This one working up the right side. Yep, there we go. There we go. If I would have kept that on driver, we'd be up there in that tall grass. 
So can he capitalize on the break here? His second from the short grass. All right, John, let's do it. Come on, baby. I don't know. There it is. Come on down now. Come on back. Oh, yes, sir. Look at that glove yeah, shot. Nothing to it. Very well judged there. This, only about five feet for birdie. Go. Ah, that's how you play this 14 pole. That's Look at that. We're killing this first round. And he's going to move into the top spot here in this opening round. Now it looks like we're going against one. the wind. The wind's right in our face. Skull and bone style. Oh, John went right. We gripped it. We ripped it. But hey, it's a fairway shot. That's what we do. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been secure. Drive this after one, drive. Well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Drive after drive. Come on. Where are you going, ball? I know we got a little bit more of it than I had anticipated. And safely on deck. That's the main thing. But from Your mom distance, likes it when she's on deck. You don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Ah, oh, it didn't curve. It didn't curve enough. There, it started off a really strong target. curve, but uh, nay. Nicely done as he rolls that in for his bar. And this will remain a well, first. one shot still advantage. first. That's all that matters. You're either first or you lose. Yeah, that's a nice swing in the result. All right, is, dude. Yeah, I'll catch you later, dude. Let me know. That is set up just fine. Dude, you're thinking of Carson Daly, Pony? No, this is a professional golfer, John Daly, man. John Daly. You know who John Daly is? He's an American icon. John Daly is an American icon. He's on the cover of the. You're thinking, talking about, you're talking about Carson Daly, man. I look at the cover of my thumbnail. Oh, dang it. Dang, that's this is a tough. Oh, no. This is going to be a rough one. To about as deep a bunker as you're going to find on a golf course. This will test your flop shot ability from well below the green. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, thou shall take it. it from down there, but that is spectacular. Now this for another birdie. Well played oh, there. A birdie here at 16. Hey, Jimmy. He pushes that lead to three shots with two holes to go. We won the championship, Jimmy. You missed it. We had this a new season. Yeah. Tough shot. Good shot. He knocked down the flag stick there, but he is hole high, and he does have a reasonable chance at birdie. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, and good playing here toward the Ten end of the round. Birdie's at 16 and 17. Dude, we are absolutely ripping this. He just keeps moving right away. Absolutely a good tee shot right there. Pin in the back left today as he'll stare down this second to the par four. Why don't you just go home in that hole? Get home. Ah. Touch long, a touch lift. But still, how good can you cut? Eleven feet away. You betcha. Birdie's at 16, 17, and Boom. 18. To wrap 11 up. under that round. So for the golfer we watched Way to today, start a season, John D. After the round, a leader by two. You're not going to win on the first day, Rich, but that's a great start. You know what I should do? I should change all standards to two rounds. And
Got my Mountain Dew Baja Blast fruit punch. PGA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the stadium course at PGA West, live coverage coming your way of round three of the season opening event, the American Express. You know, for many years, this was Bob Hope's tournament. He, of course, a great entertainer, and we're in for an entertaining weekend of golf. And as you look at the leaderboard on this Saturday, our leader here on Saturday is our featured golfer. He's on top by three as he gets set to begin play. This one has a chance to be close. I had that aimed at the people. Look at that. I had it, I, I, I played the seven mile an hour win, had that aimed inside the people. I ended up dropping it right next to the hole. And there's your bird. Suck it. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's a birdie here at one. That means he'll get it to 22 under par. There we go. First time we got the round that three to get that on the fairway. Shape. So following the birdie at one, a solid drive here at the second. <laughs> he said Donald so J. From <laughs> right around 80 yards or so, this I don't think he's a, he's a golfer, but I don't think he's professional. Not, not a golf fan, I see there, Pony Boy. It's okay. Well, Daly was a, a big golfer back in the 90s. He still golfs now, but he's old. Inexcusable. It's 57, I think. Oh, we're going to try to Texas wedge. The old Texas wedgie. Come on, Texas wedgie. I, I couldn't see the line because it was in the that's thick grass. Stroke. Just a yeah, that sucked. I mean, we almost made it, but I couldn't see the that. That right there, and I needed a hit. Okay, that It was deep in the grass, thick in the bush. And he'll maintain that four shot. My lead. line was in that 70s bush, and I couldn't see. Problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. A very thin green to aim for here as he readies his second. Come on, come on, come on. That's it. That's it. Get on up. It's going to be shy. Just shy. Shoot. Rolled it all the way off the green. And that ball going to settle. We're making Happy Gilmore too right now. Distance from the hole. Oh, it's in the hole. Cleans that up. Ooh. Hold it out. John D. Holding it out. Shooter McGavin. They got to bring him back, too. They have to. There's no way that you can have a Happy Gilmore 2 and not have Shooter McGavin. That's a shot. That's a shot. Yeah. Okay, good shot. Ten feet to the hole. Here at number four. Oh, got it oh, from the side door. Here early. This and they, you know what they should do? A crossover and bring in and David four. Sims from uh, 10 Cup. To 24 under All right, John D., we're going over the water. We're two for two on the, over the water. No, we're not. We're one for two. We, we didn't hit it in the water last time. It's okay. Though. No, no, this is the one we bounced it off of. We're two for two. Get up! Got it going right. Come on, get over that water. Get over it. Beautiful. Bounce it over the golf cart, man. We're three for three. That water, that is way down there. That would be a what a drive. Into this part five. Get up. Drop it down now. Drop it down. Drop it. Oh, just Normally they stick a tee in one end and a flag in the other. You advance the way. But that second shot on this par five, that completely took the green out of play. Air mail. That is a big mistake. She almost made that. That was for the eagle. Look at that. One inch for the eagle. I missed, one. missed the eagle by one inch. No problems there. That one in for a birdie. 
He's got it to <laughs> got the John D. John D. Kind of looking like Joe Boo. At first glance. Stop, stop. Look at, oh, look at that. Beautiful Sometimes shot and the roll was terrible. Long part three like this, and that one hit the green and kept on going. Ah. Oh, yeah. This is a big green. This guy keeps on his uh, Kool-Aid man impression. Oh, yeah. Close. That is a great shot here at six. Got, it. Oh, got the par, got the, the par. A very good putt there to save his par. And he'll remain All well right, we're going for it. We've yet to make this. Now's the time. Now's the time. Here we go. <laughs> we're going for it. Oh! Oh, wow. We got a hold of that. Holy crap. Oh, my goodness. And now and we hit it in and out of the sand trap on the other That's side. To the very thick stuff here off the tee. Shh, shh. All right, this is for birdie. And for a short little shot, the heavy rough certainly makes things more difficult because the rough gets between the club face and the ball. And there's the bird. Bird, bird, bird. Uh, bird is, bird is the word. Right in. It's a birdie here at the seven. And with that, his score moves to 26 under par. Rip it and rip it. Boom. I'm using the wind to my advantage with my big old drive. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Oh, it hit the... Golf cart path. Holy crap. And I just drove that out 373 yards. Thanks to the golf Getting cart out path. More important than distance here as he readies his second. From the sand. Par five. We're up on it. We're up and on it. Look at this. This is an eagle putt. It is one of the more satisfying shots in golf, isn't it? Downwind to a par five, the second, and you knock it on. Chance for Eagle. Certainly shortens up the par five, that wind beat back, Rich, but you can Eagle. Boom. Sweep that ball, carry and sail towards the green. Boom. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And oh, I can go low, has been sucker. Simply superb. Ooh, look at this. Brought it back a little bit too much, though. A little bit too much. A little bit. A little bit. In golf, you know, you've heard the term mulligan. You'd love that a do over there, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just. It's very poor from that range. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. And it's so important to get this one rolling up the slope oh, with just the really slightest movement that? from left oh. to right. I have some John Daly clips. I forgot to put them on here. Funny ones, like really funny stuff. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to do that. I'm a... I gotta do that. What a bummer. It would make you guys laugh. Dang, we, that was a terrible putt. That was a terrible putt. That was the worst putt of the day. This from about 10 feet. Okay, good putt there for his part. They're on the laptop. I must have just forgot to That'll put him in the OBS. 29 on this oh front side. Seven shots under par. This one's starting a little bit right. Turned yeah. Out to be a wonderful Saturday at golf. Which is in this another fine tee That's shot. That's funny. Frank, is this a definite? I didn't even think about that when I was really putting them together. Four tenth. Well, there's enough opportunities at PGA West for the long hitters. This is an opportunity for the really good iron players. This is where they have a chance to shine because a good iron player will give himself a birdie part here. A poor iron player here, all of a sudden they'll find trouble. 
Well, I didn't find trouble, but I didn't get myself a birdie putt from, either. Uh, relatively close in, I would have been looking at 10 to 15 feet. Well, that's because you suck. Oh, rolled it right by. That's a big putt. That's a big putt. Oh, now that one just decided not to curve. Start to the back I've been reading right. these green from doesn't bode well 10 feet in pretty well. That one right the there really lied on. to me. Uh, well read. That's in for a bogey five. Unfortunately, with a big lead already, very little damage done. Uh, solid. Good job in the fairway. So, in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. Oh. That's what he wanted to do. After that was supposed shot, to stay to the right a little bit, really though. It just it did not. On the par five. That's pretty good. That was, that was good length right there. Real nice length. A great opportunity here for birdie. You bet. A birdie here at the 11th. We're 28 under. He moves to 28 under par. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. Drive after this one, drive. Well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Whoa. Put it about right there. Oh, that was really nice, but it didn't stick. All right, that's a board, but a lot of green between ball and hole. Let's bring in Nota hey, Gay the third. I'm a really good closer between ball and hole. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. And when he's not close to the hole. He's left himself with very makeable opportunities. This from seven feet. No missteps there. It is a par here at 12. And he's going to stay 28 under par. Oh, look at that. That's almost a hole-in-one. Yeah, that's a popular spot. He'll have that for his birdie at 13. Oh, yeah, that one online all the way. It's We're about in to hit 30 over here. And he'll get that score to minus 29. Minus 29. This one moving just a little bit to the right with that wind. Shh. Perfect. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here. And this, another fine tee shot. From well down the fairway, this a bit of a tricky distance for his second. <laughs> Look at that. That was a thing yeah, of beauty. That nicely. That'll work out just fine. You, you look up a beautiful golf shot in the dictionary. You might birdie. just see Jen Daly just, just finessing that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, another world in there. Birdie's now at 13 it. and 14. Like, like a, and he's going like to move to a Asian massage. Under par. Is it legal? It doesn't matter. It looks beautiful. Feels great. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. A noticeable breeze coming right to left as he eyes his second. A little shy. A little shy. Yeah, that was not a good shot. That was a bad shot. 
And that one barely makes the front of the green. Do you realize if you just miss it, the middle of the club, 10%. by a quarter of an inch, you lose 10%. Yeah, I did. 10%. I know. I just told you. All right. 71 feet. Ain't no thing. Oh, look at that. Rim job. Total rim job. It actually altered the course of the ball. 71 feet almost put my balls in the hole. Okay, that's good par. It is it's still par. Safe par. And he'll remain 30 under. 30 under par. That was so close. We almost made a 71 footer. I forget the record at this point. That had to be close here. To. That is into the fairway. We're going to go four iron, and we're going to go about right there. And we rolled it. Oh, we rolled it right really over it. That I even dropped down to four, but it didn't matter. Five, but Frank, but Frank stop. we got us yeah, a butt, Frank. Too good, too long, sadly. We can putt this. We can putt this from the fringe. It ain't going to be easy, but we can do it. Yo, Texas widget. Oh! No, I think he was about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he'll stay right where he is. Or she's gonna drop this down to a wedge. Why that duck? Better watch out though. This might be a dangerous shot. Get it up. Playing the wind. Well, this could be good. This is looking good. Oh, look at that. That's look at that. Inside that 10 right feet. You know the wind is at your back. You tee it high and just let it go. Get it up there in the let jet it rip. And that's just what he did. And there's my bird. Oh, finishing strong. That's in for Birdie here at 17. And that score continues she was just to impress. He is now 31 no. under par. What? Remember that song back in the day? Man, you can't make songs like that anymore. Because <laughs> they'll take you seriously. They'll start investigating you. Like people watching your house will tap your phone. A pretty ideal wedge distance here, 95 yards for his second. Get it up. Get it up. We'll take it. Well, it was either too much for breakfast or uh, a little too much club. And that's going to leave a very tough downhill next one. And, oh, it never came. It never gripped it. Never caught it. Never caught it. So it's happened there. That's for part All right, 31 under. Last, uh, like I said, this will be the last round here. 62. It's round four That's as normal, and then the play. new rules will kick so in to where we just play normal events one round, turn and then we're done. Tonight, it's like, we better bring it. You get one shot. I wanted to do two rounds. It's not a thing. It's either one or four. I think dropping down the one will make this go faster, and then we'll continue to play four rounds on the majors and stuff. What's the wind looking like? Three to five. All right, we, we, we've already got, see, we've already got this one. I really don't think we need four rounds on a standard champion, or a, a chance standard event, you know And I mean? the PGA Tour. It's just so too much. proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx We're not doing statistics and stuff From anymore Sun on here. Kiss, we've already like got Quinta, most California, of the and all that. So live final no round to... coverage of the season opening event on the PGA Tour, the American Express. Oh, down. There we Sunday go. Rolled it back on the out. fairway. All these golfers in search of that first title of the new season. It'll be handed out later today as we look at the leaderboard for this final round. To John round. Daly. Our leader I don't know why you mentioned Sunday anyone else. Our featured golfer. He's got a sizable advantage here as he looks to increase it further. That's the only kind of advantage we want. Well, had a good look green, one. but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. The one that got away. 
Let's put that in. You be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so. I so think good. I could care less what Frank thinks. Okay. Well, I think I'm playing golf, and Frank isn't good enough to play golf, so he talks about it. Substantial lead. That's what I think. Perfect. Another very nice tee shot. He looks awfully comfortable here with these first couple of drives. So the great tee shot left him here. Now his second from relatively close range. We can take that. Okay, a little left to do, but I like the way these greens are cut. It actually kind of helps me hit the ball. Twelve feet still to go. Like putt. Oh, I was gonna miss that one. That one just gonna sneak on by. That finished off for par here the second. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. All right, John, keep it straight. Good shot. Gripped it. Ripped it. Ball's gone. The driving's been sensation all week. And here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. Beautiful look at the Santa Rosa Mountains in the background as he readies his second. Santa Rosica. That was a pretty cool game I was looking at. Part two recently came out. And, oh, 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 smack the pin. shot almost pulls it from the fairway. And we'll have Dude, that, left for a birdie. that was 100-something yards out, and we smacked the pin. We almost dropped it in the to Look at this putt for birdie. And players of this caliber should make this on a regular basis. And it's not curving enough. Oh, look at that. We barely missed it. Almost put that. That's gonna that was a heck of a shot. Two by. So that safely in. It's a par. In shot. The or par. The third. Man, anyway, to take that this game looked really cool. Par, he'll stay right uh, where he is. That, that looked like it uh, might be fun to get into. It was part two, and then I realized part one is still pretty like popular and available. You ever heard of a game majority called Dragon's Dogma? Dang, that was a terrible shot. What is your John? Gonna have to give this a pretty good thump. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump. Here comes John. Oh, look at that shot. Oh, that yeah, that's hands beautiful. Beautifully, beautifully there. Good thump of the sand and a good chance to save par. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. It's like a fantasy game. And like, where, but you, well, you like, well, oh, hold on. We got to go par. for it. We're still going for this. Come on now. Come on, John. Come on, John. Big shot here. Come on, four for four. Uh oh. We might be three for four. Oh, uh oh. That's have to go. Yep, we hooked it. Mm, into the pond it goes. Could have played ah, safe to John. the right instead. Oh, it's into the we're going to do previous shot. So back to the tee box we go. And this will now be his third shot. Okay, this one's going to stay in the field of play. And even better than that, it's Did you have you have you majority? Have you heard of that game before? Oh. We messed this hole up. The chat. Okay, that one brushed in for bogey here at the fifth. Yeah, because we put it in the water. We and went for it, though. Up rare and when you're up as far shot. as we are, you can take those kinds of chances, and it's acceptable. And that wind did not push it right at all. The wind just didn't push and it. That one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Oh, a little further, and it was going to make the right lip. Fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? 
I certainly do. It was so, so good. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And he'll remain right where he is. Yeah, yeah. I, I was looking. So part two, like, just came out, like, last week or something like that. We're going for this. I don't care. We're going for this. Hold on. Hold on. Let me take the shot. Get up! Ah, we did it again. We went left. But uh, we stayed on the right side of things. That big bunker, but wind up in the mound. Um, yeah, so part two was looking really cool. Screen. And then part one is still pretty famous, like, and out there and stuff. And uh, I thought it might be a cool game to potentially check out. It's called Dragon's Dogma. And for a short little shot, the heavy rough certainly makes things more difficult. Boob play it or anything? Between the club face and the ball. But not bad, all things considered. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. It, it looks neat. That one finished off. Yeah, it'll be a part here at seven. Is that one you've seen? Right. Or boot place? If that's got the length, that's a great shot. It didn't have the length. Mm, that is straight into the thick stuff. Is Boo there? Oh, that second shot took some force on this par five just to get it into the greenside bunker. Now well positioned, especially with a little savvy bunker shot. Now we've being in the bunker is almost better than being in the rough these days because of that pick shot I got. Okay, nicely done. It's a birdie at number eight. I don't think it's that hard, hard though. I don't think it's that hard. Here, I'll show it to you guys in a minute. You let me know what you think. After we get done with this, we'll watch the. Uh, I'll show you both games. We'll watch the trailers. And we'll, then we'll jump onto the next. Uh -oh, oh, 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 Johnny. No, no. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Other. No, we're good. That's playable. Don't you dare. Okay, that's playable. Right, they so let me push the ball out, too. Into that first cut. It was his second. I thought they were going to do one of them things where they ripped me off, but they did not. Get up. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Oh, yeah. Look, <laughs> Look at that. Is one thing, but hitting iron shots like that, that we rolled it back increase. to two feet. Shouldn't be much in this for birdie. How much more than a tap in there? It is a birdie at the ninth. Yeah, okay. This will be a one I'll show you part two first, because that's how I've seen 35. it. And then I'll show you part one. And I don't know. I think, we could, I think it's a game we could get into. I think. This one's starting uh -oh. to hear we went right. Too far right. That's a that's a easy that's a yeah. First oh, that one's cut. finished in the first cut. It's going to be a little bit harder to spin it from there with a little. Oh bit really? Of I didn't know that. Ball, but uh, still not too bad. Yeah, I'll show it to you just one second. Hold on. Oh, this is looking titty. Come on. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to chip it, but we could probably punt this. We're going to chip it. Be fairly you gotta be with careful it, with that. You, you just you have to be careful. Do. You can't fall around so, the hill so too good. hard. So that's in for par to All stop this backside, and pars will be no problem from here on out. I've got the Metal Gear series, and we need to play too. Full ten shot lead. You know, I still got to jump up on that. And that, a good looking shot. Which I think will be well, fun. I just got to get in that Metal Gear mood. Going to take you know, a Metal big Gear is a, to get there, a whole but a move. chance with his second to the par five. Ah, oh, crap. So, really. Why did you hit that to the right, John D? Q. 
keep that straight, boy, and that's oh, a that fantastic shot. shot. Just ran out of fairway, but still, nice little pitch shot and a good chance to make four at par five. That's how you do it, though. That's a little chip. No gimme here. Tricky one for birdie. Oh, that nah, is tricky. That's gonna slide by tricky dicky. Good work to get into that position, but couldn't finish it off. Finish your mom off last night. So that brushed in for par here at 11. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. Just what you want to do, land it in the fairway, get a little bit of rollout, and that is a good shot. Oh, look at this. Oh, that seven inches. Do they know seven inches? Number one, a beautiful shot there to get it in tight. A little bit two. It's a birdie here at 12. Oh, I just, yeah. I bet it, it does. Is I, bet it does. More I got more. some good left over, it's though. I got some BJs back left to over. Back wins in this a tournament. chicken parmesan, or crusted chicken parmesan. <laughs> Maybe made a home one forever. Yeah, he was one. I go for hole in one to match. Oh, no, I should have just I should have laid that up. Second shot now. You are at the par 3. Oh. Man, that rolled forever on this type of green. They have been rolling that much. This is an 11-foot putt. Got it. Nah, the putter bails him out there. That's in for a par. And he'll be unable to take that score any further under par. He'll stay right where he is. He's starting up the right side. <coughs> Great shot with the three wood. Just over 90 yards, all that's left here for his second. Looking good, I think. Too far. Well, that is not very good at all. That could cost him. Dude, yeah. you're an idiot. I'm, I'm 20, right next to the hole. I wish you took the shorter club now. I almost hold it out. I almost hold that out. Now, now I got par. I'm up 3,700 strokes. Well, I don't know what you're worried about. These announcers are stupid. Okay, good putt. And a par here at 14. We're up 10 strokes. Well, well under par. Well, well, well. Ooh, that might be rough. No, yeah. Oh, we, we rolled it out, though. Ooh, it's in a hole, but it's in the fairway. Oh, he gets a little lucky there and even bounces back into lucky. the fairway. Second shot coming up, and we say Early hello enough, to baby. Iona <laughs> 122 is the number. Pin front left so he can take dead aim. Ah, great shot. This didn't roll back. That was rolled right back down by the hole. as close as what you'd like, but still solid. An outside look here for Birdie. That's looking good. Oh, rim job. They were the old rim job there. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And he'll be unable to take that score any further under par. He'll stay right where he is. Yeah, all about hitting a fairway here, and that is right where you want to be.
Oh, and that is going to wind up missing the target by a good margin. That will be no bargain in there. Oh, good shot. Fantastic shot. And for a short little shot, the heavy rough certainly makes things more difficult because the rough gets between the club face and the ball. But not bad, all things considered. All right, ah, we almost got this. Two, two holes there. left, a three and a four. For a we are 34 under. And stop the presses if you've heard this before. He's well on his way. Yet another victory on the year. We get a hole in one, though. Get a hole! Uh-oh. Oh, that's trouble. Oh, no! Oh, oh it, it rolled all the way down the rocks. Mistaken. What has been a terrific round to this Why point is that is going to be into the water. Okay, so the drop made, and this will become his third at the par three. That's some bull crap, man. Okay, that's acceptable there. This is a 13-footer. Yeah, Good that's putt. well done, though. It is for bogey here at the par three. But fortunately, this one still well in hand. Boom. Get a birdie, get that back. Yes, yeah, step one out of the way. It is in the fairway at 18. One more good approach shot. Could just about seal it. You hear, Jimmy? I'm going to show you guys that game. Why don't you check it out and tell me what you think. Oh, a little shy. No, that's a bit of a head turner, really. That was a green light situation from that distance, and... Now, far from the best shot I've seen today. Oh, what a way to end the tourney. Back to third quarter. Good shot. Up. It's a birdie at 18, and I think go ahead and celebrate because that lead now is close to oh. insurmountable. Wow, what a way to start your year. What a way. 69. First time out. 34 under. In La Quinta. La Quinta. La Quinta. Deep up in that La Quinta. What a great way to start the year. We started so the year that way because we're a champion. For Boom.
up the cart last time. Did you see that? It was in the lake. Look at it down there. UK literally the left the golf tour. cart. So he drove it into the lake. The season long race. We got alligators in this cup. This afternoon, we're in the Sunshine State Hole for one. live final round coverage of the Florida Classic. And this, one of the sterner tests a golfer's going to encounter, 18 holes to decide a championship. The A-plus game has to be there to make this You work. ain't kidding, but these are the, this is a course, I like this course. These fairways are wide the open. Major champion, Bob Simpson, wide open in space. The oh, man. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking to cobble together a solid round here on this fine Sunday. Whoops. It's all right. These green or these these holes are like forever long. He set oh, up for his third yeah, shot. Long. Looking to get it on the green with this. Whoa! It didn't even what the Oh what the hell? It didn't even bounce. The ball is on the green. That's about all I can say. It caught the ground and just took off. So How far of a putt is this? Fifty-six feet? And it's up two feet? What just happened? Getting a hole. Not bad. Yeah, easy to come up short on that one, but that's a decent effort. Safely in. It's a bar here at the first. And he'll remain. That was crazy. Right it hit the ground and just said, like rocket booster. Start playing better than this, I'll tell you that. We don't, we don't win this. Either. Sitting up in the short grass. Ah! See, but now that he's got the ball, you can think? tell it's rolling. It's, it's rolling, it rolling was legitimately so, now. So good. That finished off for par. You with the second. And he'll stay right where he is. I like this course. You can you can pretty much just grip it and rip it every freaking stroke. Every tee shot, just ripping it. Okay, that's going to be safely in the fairway, and that's where you need to play from if you're going to make a final round surge. There you go, final round surge. Tell him what he's won, Bob. Okay. That's a decent sized green. It's not bad. Just a little past the hole. Birdie attempt at the third. Nota Begay is down there. Getting a hole. Ideal look here. Just moving slightly. Oh, tight. we are just barely we missing these, there, man. This is a Florida course. We got to win these. Nicely done. It is a far here at the third. And oh, geez. Right there hey, don't, nobody's done anything yet. We must be. We must have started off early. Oh, see, this is right between two clubs. See, this is no good. This is no good. We're going to try to roll it through the sand, I think. Or a little shy of it. That's not the sand, is it? Is that really the sand? That's the sand. Okay. All right. You said it was. Okay. It's just so it's a tough hole. It's between clubs. The sand. So whenever you deal with a, deal with a hole further, between clubs. That's not the worst shot in the world. That's you know, you're going to go too far or too short. Far, you go too far, you can really ruin it. So I'd rather go too short. Right where he is. At least I know what I'm dealing with. We gotta get this one far enough to get on the other side of that tree line. I don't know that we did. Uh, I don't know that we did. Good drive in the fairway. 
still better than three bills away as he puts forth his second to the par five. Oh, baby. I think we're going to punch it. We're going to look for the punch. Get it, Big John. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, I know it's not the highlight shot, getting home on the par five. What you talk two, about? That was a highlight shot, sir. It's a smart shot. What game are you watching? Yeah. It's a solid shot and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. A lot of movement on this putt left to right. I think the idea here is just to get it inside sort of a three-foot circle. Ah! Mm, okay, I'd call that an acceptable... We're parring the crap out of this, aren't we? We're parring the that crap out of this. Off. Here it is, a part here at five. And he'll remain right where he is. But we gotta make sure we hit this because look at that water. See that water? Those crocodiles and alligators and crap. Get it up! Over the wall. Oh, way, way over. That's a great shot. Okay, that's close. Be safely in the fairway, and that's where you need to play from if you're gonna make a final round surge. Oh, final round surge. Dude, these greens are crazy. This must be like crazy That's a head Bermuda grass. That approach shot from uh, relatively close in. I would have been looking at 10 to 15 feet. Get up. Get there. Oh, what a oh, shot. Dude, that. Beauty. What a roll that was. A long one in for birdie. That was a bomb. It certainly helped the cause. Yes, that will help the cause right there. First birdie of the day. That was a heck of a birdie. this up that left-hand side. Man, the, the really weird grass here. I don't remember it being like this, but I haven't played this in forever. Got to get it there. Got to get, get. Uh, trying to get us par five. That's a good-looking shot for par five here. Look at this. Look at this. That's an eagle putt. Be pleased with that one. On and two, par five. Didn't fly it there, but didn't have to. Got everything he needed out of that shot. Eagle! Oh, yeah. That now we're cooking. Advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. We just we just tied the lead there because these guys suck. They ain't no John Deere. All right, so what we need to do here, I think, is go back here. Then finesse and go up here. I think we're going to hit it about right there. Right there. Okay, John, come on. Put it in the hole, baby. Put it in the hole. Oh, man, we hit the mouthpiece. Man, we killed it. I don't know. I guess because it was, it was, you know why? It was off the tee. Splash this softly onto the green. It's because it was off the tee. I didn't take that to full account. Mm, that is a good looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good place, leaving just a few feet for ball. So what's okay, gonna take to win this tournament? Seven under, eight under? The eight. And he'll stay right where he is. I mean, this one fares, uh, favors us, you know, with the driving. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. Now, from just under 300 yards, a second from the fairway at the par five. No, you just, you just gotta, you gotta be here more often, UK. Get in a hole. Never made an al albatross in this game. Oh, geez, that rolled it right off. Look at that. We rolled it wow, right off. Full treatment to that three wood and still not home, but still a good chance to make birdie here at the par five. Oh, 
Oh, come on. The ball was half over the hole. Okay, his fine. All right, it's four under on the front nine, and that puts us tied for first with Keegan Brown. Gets him to four under for his round. I'm going to go four. We're going to go four iron here, I think. That would have hit the pin and knocked down. We'd had an easy birdie and putt. That one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. They wanted us using a three wood. I went Lovely all the way down to shot. a four iron. Just like that's that ball off the turf. What were they thinking? Just flew through this the game would have ruined me. Set down for the in the trees wrong. on the other Good side. There. Safely in. Well, it's a par here at the tenth. And he'll remain at four under. Don't want to hit that tree. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Stephen. A hundred and thirty-four yards left to the flagstick today. Pin on the left portion of this green, so it will favor a wee draw. A wee draw. Oh, yeah. Rolled it back a little too much. That's a good approach shot. shot, too. Just a little left of the hole, but a good chance for both. Favor to wee draw. 18 feet from the bottom of the cup. It didn't curve, man. It, these oh, greens look like suspect. they curve more than they do. Never See, really since we're playing one round on standard events, I don't have a chance to practice that. Okay. Well, Definitely uh, makes it much more challenging. Bar here at 11. English and jumped up the right where he is. Killed it. Uh, Need to kill it so again, man. This, this is a big, 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 big course. And that is yet another solid drive. Get it up. Big putt, oh, 60 feet shot. That is home for the E. The far five. Remember made Eagle earlier in the round, Frank? That may be a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double Eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Wait a 60 feet. Just hit the shot. This one's tracking on a very good line. Look out. Oh, very nearly an eagle. It's just beautiful. The speed was perfect. It just didn't go down. That was a beautiful it's 60 a foot. It well. drop it though. And he will definitely not say no to that. That's going to be up the left hand side. I'm going to flirt with the left edge, but it looks like it's going to stay in the short grass. Oh! Man. Oh, we're going to, we're going to Texas wedgie this. Texas wedgie from the fairway. Smart play from that distance. 600. There we go. There we go. Make sure you get the line, and this one goes down for a birdie. Us in English is having a uh, having us a, a playoff here. Yeah. Okay, safely aboard. Now this for another birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this, even when he's not close to the hole. And we got it. There we go. That was a beautiful 18-footer. Yeah, now we're putting in your face, English. What's the situation with these trees, man? That's 
stuff in the wind, maybe drifting a little. Well, less. yeah, because oh, stick, big old stick, ain't a snake, right? We are in Florida. Ah, oh, crap. Uh oh, tree, four. What happened? Okay, so playing out of the first cut, not a huge disadvantage as this what is the crap down this? the fairway on this par five. I don't even know what just happened, man. Oh, Lord. We're going to fool around and bogey. Yeah, you walk with a little bunker shot. Just splash it out. Let the ball run towards the flag. Oh, that is very well done. That was not a short bunker Recorded. shot. That could have been birdie oh, right there. inside a foot. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. He's five under. And the lead will hold steady at two with just the 16th, 17th, and 18th left to play. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. Drive one, after well, drive. As we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Oh, man, I am... You guys watching this? This is crazy. Well, I am well, almost lucky, hitting yeah, these very drives, the these, these approach Looking shots from freaking hundreds of yards out. This one should cut pretty hard to his every left. time like it's we're getting birdie. so close to making them shots oh that's a good looking birdie or putt yep nope we didn't get it i mean we're almost hitting the pin we're almost putting it in the hole we're almost rolling it back we're so close okay that'll be a par here at 16. seven under what's he and sitting at five under still two, we, uh, two to play. we need it we need a little bit more here though i'm gonna i'm gonna bring it back to four iron and we're gonna go way back there Trying to stop it. Trying to stop it, and it went too far. See? Too far. Too far. Yeah, that one came in a little It's on the green, hot. but it's way back there. On, but it'll be a long look coming up. A birdie putt down to Iona. Yeah, it's a long putt, so pace is important, but there's not a whole lot to it. Fancy the chances of It never once close. curved it like it said it would. We needed yeah, that. That's Shoot. A pretty good putt. If he birdies, a this, is gonna, make, this is going to cut it close. No problems there. Problem Last hole, we're 17. up. How many? Two this still. Is a two shot lead with one hole to play. See? We don't know if we need to birdie this or not. We just got to try it the best we can. It's par four. Yes. We should be able to birdie this. Way. It is in the fairway at 18. One more good approach shot. Could just about seal it. Come on, get in the hole. Get in the hole. Ended on a good note here. Oh, it took off like a bat out of hell. No! Man, we gotta make a 25 okay, footer. Surface, we don't know if it's for the win or not, but it might be. There. It might be. Chance now for another birdie. And it looks pretty much straight overall, but it's going to pick up a lot of pace as it heads down this slope. Needs to be careful. Yeah, and that's not what I wanted. That's not the way that went right. Is not what I anticipated. Okay. Well, I don't know if seven's going to win it or not. I don't know. Eighteenth green. And that will mean it is a round of sixty-five. Nope. Seven under. Par. We needed a birdie. Oh, Absolutely eleven. Champ. Who's Cameron Champ? So Cameron far, Champ is the champ for Frank real, dude. He stepped up and push, put a left. It'll down. be a top 10 finish, but maybe a chance to rue the wow. missed opportunity. 348. Depends how you look at it. I, I agree with you. This thing, this time next week. But this is not baseball. There. So, how do they show up next time?
EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, we bring you live final round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. Well, this is the essence of golf distilled. 18 holes to decide our winner. Every decision is impactful. Every misstep, a potential tournament record as we look at the current leaderboard. Curtis Thompson is the leader. He's rolling early at eight under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking to cobble together a solid round here on this fine Sunday. I don't know if dude's gonna be back to a plate. He said it might be later on. I'm, I'm... That sounds awesome. That does sound good, Majority. That does sound good. Mm. Maybe I should pick up that Dra Dragons game and check it out today while you're all are here. We didn't get a chance to show it to Natalie. Oh, good shot. And that'll do just fine. A good start to this final round. Safely in the fairway at one. A back right hole location here as he gets set for his second to the par four. That's, That's a good, a good shot. shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. That's a good start. Oh, yes. On your pace to get up that slope, it is in for a birdie. Will certainly help the cause. Good shot. Okay, fortunate there. That ball hops onto the green, and he'll be left with that for his birdie. We turn to Notabagay the third for this look at birdie. A very notable look. Ooh. Yeah, I'm thinking we got to get ten under every one of these. You know, like we we need ten under to to be safe here. Ah. Well, it's in the first cut. We know you can't spin the ball as much from the first cut. Still lying okay. Whoa. That's a decent sized green. It's not bad, just a little past the hole. Holy oh, crap. Footer. And ducks. Just gonna sneak you see, the, see the ducks, Natalie? I know you're an animal lover. Or at least a cute thing lover. I don't know. One of the two. So that safely in. It's a par here at the third. And he'll stay at 200. Why is, what's up with the trees again? Who's putting these trees out there? Jimmy, cut these trees down. Oh, we went right into it. I moved it right. Man, that's some bull crap. Ruining my game. This is the only round. So it's par four or five. It's a par now, five. Now from better than 300 yards out, a second to the par five. We gotta kill this. Which we did. Give him a chance here. I'm not sure he got every bit of that three wood trying he to get home this par five in two, but still in the ball game for a birdie. Oh. Look at this. That's probably why you like me. 
Two good shots I'm cute, but I'm kind of like savage too at the same time. Yeah. And that was beautifully polite. <laughs> not much to that. It is a birdie here at four. And he will definitely not say no to that. Oh, John. Wind starting to push this one a little less. Yeah, we ripped that hard wrong. Well, that drive was enormous. I know it's in the rock, but that is long. Working That's what she said. Now for his second at the par four fifth. Good recovery. Good recovery. Okay, on the green, but let's go leave a putt that will get your attention. Yeah, there's another one. Back to back birdies here at four and five. Will certainly help the cause. Dude, if we had wind, we're going for that. But we do not have wind. This, this is a uh, ambitious shot too, really. Oh, woo! Dude, I would have problems in real life on this one right here. I would have to be so safe. I'd have to. It'd take me eight, nine shots to get over here. Final round surge. John D doing it in two. Oh no! 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 Stop ball! Stop all. I dare say a touch too aggressive. Trying to fly it all the way and expect it to hold. It is very ambitious. What? How is it unplayable? It's in it's in rough. He's dropping it where it is anyway. Oh, we got robbed. Now we're playing this an uphill battle now to win this one. I told you we can't afford to mess up. And then the game got us uh, ripping us off. It wasn't in the water. It wasn't in the rocks. It was a playable lie. That's up to me to decide if it's playable or not. Not the game. I was in bounds is what I'm saying. Nicely read there. We parted anyway. We should have had a birdie. And he'll stay right where he is. We got robbed there. So that's, that's a stroke that the game just took off of us there. Get in a hole. Get in a hole. Okay, not taking any chances there. A good, safe play in the middle portion of the green. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, Rich, you know, I've been in there. I've taken a good look at this one, and I'm not Come seeing on. a lot in it. Yes, so we needed that. That's a good a shot. I'm telling you, 10 under or we don't win. Pretty much what we got to figure on doing from here on out. Every course, 10 under or we don't win. No matter what it says they're doing, because that's only the people that are currently yeah, playing. It's definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. There's still other people left to play, so we, we have to make shot sure. Second here from right around 165 yards. We're going to get this up. Over the water. Sand is okay. The main thing is Stuck over the water. Stuck follow through right there. This could be really good. Oh, look at that. It was perfect. Coming in there. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10 foot circle is always good and even money, really, to make better. Yes. We're six under. And we're we're uh, turn only playing eight now at seven and eight. Trying to win He's the Arnold or Palmer here. Shots of the lead now as he moves to six under par. This one starting a little bit left. You better, UK. All right, partner, break down this approach shot here at the par four ninth. What you're looking at is one of the biggest greens on the on the golf course, Rich, so it gives you a chance to be perhaps a little more aggressive than what you would normally think on a par four that's uh, just a little under 500 yards. Arnold Palmer. So now this, right around 25 feet for birdie. Oh, we're putting on the Palmer. Ah. Mm, I got a joke for you guys. Right by the hole, but he could not get it Why did Arnold Palmer? Because dinner wasn't ready on time. Nah. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. 
And that will make this an even 30 for the front side going out in six under par. Ooh, we're going to try. We're going for it. We're John Daly. We go for this crap, yo. Here we go. Get up. Uh-oh, that's going right. Get up. Stay up. This Stay up. up. The right side off the tee. That's how you do it. Look at that. Beautiful. I talk about a friendly kick. I never got those. Over every one of those trees. Every one so of them. So after the fortunate kick, is second to the par four. Coming back. And that's going to leave some work, but it'll end up okay. Now, this for another birdie. Nailed it. Nah, that's the way to start. Oh, Big John looking good. That's seven under. Perfect read. That's what we got to do. At number 10. And he's going to move that's to what we got to do right there. That's it. Now. At seven under par. Did he say we just gave him the old shocker? <laughs> Boom! Didn't want to hit it too far. We didn't put the power on that one. I didn't want to put it in the rough. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder Ten under how minimum. low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Simply the best. Tough shot here. Tough shot. Ah, uh, it's a good shot, but does leave that little uphill putt, so that one will be slow. Dude, it's going down six inches, huh? feet to the hole. And we blew it up. Yes, good start to this backside. Back-to-back -back birdies Yeah, your mom likes when I get a good start on her backside. And he will definitely not say no to that. Shot. Uh oh. Oh, kick it, lady. Kick it, kick it. Thank you. That was Natalie. Really That's Natalie that right there. Good job kicking that. The button to this par five, but Frank. Butt Frank, we got the old butt yeah, Frank. Too good, too long, sadly. Oh! Stop! It almost went in, then it went rolled past the hole. 19 feet. Not to be a little short, but a, a good effort there. Why did it, did we have did we did we have dirty balls? That ball should have kept on rolling. I think it had dirt on it. That one is safely in. And we know who's responsible for the balls. 12. And he's going to remain at eight under. Natalie. And that, a good looking shot there. <laughs> well placed in the fairway. Just 90 you yards stay on the ball here for his second into the par four. Well, this is scary because look at that. If I roll this back, it might roll off. Whoops. That would be the wrong way. Hmm. Hmm. This is a tough shot. And this is looking really good. I had, yes, that's beautiful. I had to stay away from that right side because I could have rolled that down into uh, the water shot. easy. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Chance now for another birdie. Got it. Mm, confidently done there. That's Nine under. birdie here at 13. And he will take over sole possession of the lead here midway through these sole final possession. nine holes. I took over sole. That stayed straight. We needed that to go right. That was obviously well struck, but it came in a little too hot, and that one's going to run out and leave him a much longer birdie. So what you guys doing tonight? For. 
We got anything going on? Oh, man, that didn't give me a curve to the right at all down there. I hate when they when they Ten lie. Foot putt left. I thought it was going to stop. Putt, and a par here at 14. And that's going to preserve this tenuous one-shot lead. One of the best swings of the day. You're Just already in bed? Lie, really, that last bounce kicked it into the first cut. That's so, it. no real problems here with the lie. It's his second what are you wearing? from that first cut. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't answer that. That's a good shot. Touch long, a touch long. <laughs> Still, how good can you pop up? Well, tease me, Natalie. I'm a weak man when it comes to that. Oh, good shot! Drop my balls on the side of the hole right there. It is in for a birdie. Ten under. I told you this is what we had to do as a minimum. We got a chance to win this one now. Back-to-back wins in this tournament. Oh, crap. Ah. Nope. That wasn't the right line, and he'll pay the price as this ball gonna run off the. I'm just wondering right if it's worth it to, to try that game here in a minute. Like, make take a little break. Everybody, do do what you gotta do, eat whatever, and then come back, and um, check out that dragon's dogma, the first one. You know, see if it's what it's gonna be like. I'm curious. Since we're all here, I mean, if you're gonna be around, I, it is Easter Sunday, all right. but it is the last Sunday we will have time to do anything other than baseball, right? So, if we're gonna do it now, we gotta do it now. Not an overly long path. Baseball's very scoreable. That's what we expect. Dude, I'm killing these greens. See, at the Genesis, you can't. Uh, that's an eagle. I can't do this at the Genesis. I think we won this one. That's 12 under. Sensational play continues on this backside. Sensational play on the back side. Natalie didn't even get a chance to see the game. We, we'll, after this, uh, two holes from now, I'll show you the game, Natalie. Ah, stop. Don't do it. I see a duck head over it there. I see a duck just swimming crazy. around down there. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. He's been never going to get all it. Day around the get it this is second. This left, yep. This left. Do, do you like Game of Thrones? i never seen Game of Thrones, and everybody cannot believe that because they say that is so up my alley. Oh, that's got a little bit more movement than you think. Wait a minute here. Back. Hold the phone. We're going to... How... We didn't bogey, right? That's par. That's still par, right? Finished off for bogey no, we bogeyed. Oh, no. And that could make things a little more interesting. Yeah, you think so? Leads down to three. Hold on. People saying that they couldn't believe I didn't. I've never watched Game of Thrones, but it's like Game of Thrones, Hobbit, you know, Lord of the Rings, uh, type of looking game. But oh, if I just hit that in the water and we blow this up, oh my God! Don't do it. I can't believe he hit that to the right. Stop! 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 Woo. And that is Woo. into the right rough, and that is going to leave a. Yeah, I've never seen it, but that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like Lord of the Rings. This 18th green. Kind of a thing. Second shot now. And you know what it is. Ball is in the rough, but has a chance to get this within birdie range with a good shot. Get up. Get up, John. Get up. That, oh. Oh, if it was came back, it was in. If that came back, it was in. Oh, that just made up right there. I think we got it. This is for the win, I believe. It's 12 under. I think we just won it. What a shot. Out of the rough. And that won't quite get them into the 50s, but well, that's Hold on, let's see. This is around 12 under. 60. I don't see anybody moving. I don't see anybody moving. I don't see anybody moving. Well, Frank, I think we can say we crushed them by four. This particular course suits our Boom. future player. Pretty John Daly well. in your throat, well, it certainly sucker. certainly does, a defending champion. And I mean, it's a great feeling because when you win the first time, you always think, well, you know, is this course you know, perfect for me? Can I do it again? To come back, remember, it's a full year and to sort of have the same style of game and to play equally as well as what you did the year before, hats off.
We're gonna we gotta go to the store. I'll show it to Natalie. UK can watch too, I guess. He's, he's never around though. I'll probably have to stream most of this in the evening. There it is, right there. So this just came out this week, last week, but it's part two. So what I'm thinking, this looks pretty cool. Let's uh, buy the first one and go through it. It looks neat. It looks like it's a lot of fun. It's got a creative character, and uh, well, you'll see here. here. So we'll watch that same trailer because I think it's the only one. So see, it's like a Game of Thrones, Skyrim, uh, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit kind of a thing. Where it's see, it's, it's back now. I'm gonna show some. I watch. I'll play the trailer, but see what I mean? Like the gameplay, you got like archers, and probably like the guys with the swords, like the gladiators, and then you got your mages and all that kind of stuff. And apparently, really cool combat, and, and you got furries in there too, I guess. Uh, but it looks really cool. Some cool combat, big dragons. So get ready. Get ready for the dragons. All right, I'll shut up now and let you watch this. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the console. Good graphics. The Witcher, if you, if you know what The Witcher is. That's what it reminds me most of, actually, is The Witcher. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. Learn all you can of this world you must protect. Like a cat with titties. We ask that all be spared the horrors of the fell. That's really dragon. cool looking. I wonder if you can like ride dragon to control him. The combat looks well made. I hate this. My chance. If you're discovered, yours may be the only That looks like Yennefer. What is your purpose here? When it was all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. Pitiable Arisen. Why dost thou fight? And I believe you can choose if you're male, female, and kind of like what kind of a fighter and player you are, which is neat. I like those games. Kind of, and that looks awesome. Dragon's Dogma 2. I would gladly pass all of the wisdom I possess into your hands. Pretty cool. What do, you, what do you think? Is that your style or no? Let's now let's look up the first one. Cause we didn't even do that. Let me and so that was just came out last week. Let me see. I think did I put the first one on my wish list? Oh that cartel tycoon looks fun too. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma. That's actually with PS Plus Extra. I just don't own Extra. Got Killer Clowns up there. It's only a $29.99 game. Got great reviews. 14,000 reviews, nearly perfect. A four point, that's like rare. Let's. So this is the first one. Let's watch this first trailer here. Partial nudity, that's a big plus. So this is the first. Now time out, before we watch it, when, when did this come out? I'm really curious. 2017. Wow. So this is a, a six-year-old game. Seven. This is a seven-year-old game. I didn't know. I didn't know. I must have missed this one. But I really want to play one before we play two, right? I don't, because we, we probably would miss stuff. And by now, this is probably super polished. Why is the trailer not in HD? That's not you guys. That's not the game. For I... I hate when they do this. PlayStation does that crap. It's not an HD trailer. So same kind of story.
Are you going to pick your character? Are you going to make... Really, it's looking a lot like the second one, really. Obviously, the graphic... Hey, that dude's from Zelda. That whole... That little dude was from Zelda. But I think we need to play this one before we play it too. I think we need to do it right. That looks cool. It definitely looks really good. Ugh. I hate snakes. It's got a lot of Lord of the Rings in it, I think. A little like death. Really, these monster fights, you know what it reminds me of? A little bit of Castlevania. You know, the 3D ones? Which is one of my favorite game series. It definitely looks cool, though. UK got visitors. The FBI finally found them. It's a SWAT team. <laughs> UK's visitors, SWAT. Dragon's Dogma. Horizon. So yeah, that was pre-game even came out, but it looks good. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do we, do we pull the trigger on this one or not? What do you guys think? Yay or nay? Single player game. This might even have been a PS4 game originally. Yeah, it, it, this was a PS4 game. See it? Up there? PS4. Majority votes yay and not nay. What is what is this? Hold on, man. This, oh, that's the second game. They're showing the second game stuff on this. That's smart. <laughs> you said it's your coins. Is she worth it? Natalie, I don't know. You, you that that doesn't sound like you're very excited. You said, yeah, why not? Like whatever. I don't care. Like, that's something where, like, we're like, you know, if I ask you, like, a restaurant we're going to go out to, and I say somewhere you really don't like, and you're like, yeah, why not? Sure. Whatever. It's food. I don't care. Not very enthusiastic. We got the Killer Clowns. Looking forward to that. That's going to be cool. But it does require other people. There's a Killer Clown that requires other people. Yeah, Natalie said meh. How about this, Natalie? Killer clowns? Like, from outer space? Terrorize all humans. It's gotta be a way out of here. Making the boat, you gotta have the gas and the stuff, just like Friday the 13th. Have you seen this majority? You you gotta they've got a red gas tank because it's the same people, you know, Elphonic. 
And they've got all the same stuff right at 13th hand. Somebody was controlling a pizza box. You are not a lawyer, Natalie. That lid look right hillbillies right there. Crunchy fries, french fries. Five twenty of twenty-eight, but I feel like you get it early. One one week advance access. Oh, we also have that Inquisitor, Oregon Trail. Would you rather me play the Oregon Trail, uh, Natalie? Huh? Huh? Is this rather what you would want right here? You want me just walking on the Oregon Trail and potentially dying of dysentery? Is that what you would like for me to do? See, Hannah has dysentery. Would you like that to say Vanilla has dysentery? I think that you would at this point. I don't think you care. I don't think you care at all. Your party is starving. Thanks to Natalie. All right, well, and why did I leave it? If I was going to buy it, why did I leave it? Why did I, why did I leave it? Hold on, I got to go. <sighs> Dang. Right, here we go. Let me, set, uh, let me check something out before we go. Before, before I do this, I am going to do a little bit of research. Give me one minute here. Get really good uh, reviews though, like for now.
So as far as review goes, everybody says yes. Like, you should buy it right now. So let me check this out. Now I'm going to ask how long it is to beat. Let me see what we're getting into here. Ooh. That's interesting. So it looks like, because there's a website called How Long to Beat, it's usually pretty accurate because they have a bunch of polls. So it looks like this game main story to beat is about 33 hours. And that's about what you'd expect from a game like this, you know. Shoot, I remember one of the DLCs for Witcher was 25. The other one was like 20. You was looking at over 50 hours just for DLC. That ain't even count the main game. But, um, so about 33 hours to beat the main game. Main game and all the sides, about 53. But check this out. A completionist, meaning platinum the game and get everything, 114 hours. That's nuts. Now that, I don't think I'm ready for that. You must have to go through a second playthrough, is my guess. On like a higher difficulty. I don't know. You know what I mean? Usually games that double to get a platinum on, you have to go through more than once. And that would make, if it's 33 hours or so, or, or if it's 53 hours for main and sides, and it's 114 that means you pretty much have to do the game twice, which would come up to about, yeah, 106 or so. Hey, what's up, j Dub? He's looking at a new game here, man. Um, so it would give us something else to play here during the week, you know, like an actual action game. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I don't know. I'm thinking it'll give us something outside of sports, right? We got because uh, we got baseball is going to take up the Sundays, and then uh, MLB the show the Indians just randomly through the week whenever I feel like playing baseball. But I mean, we do have the Metal Gear Solid. I haven't started yet, right? We right here. I haven't done that yet. Do we start this first? You know? I'm going to get rid of this game. I'm going to uninstall this right now. Delete. Fetus, delete us. So there's Metal Gear Solid. First one. Do, do, we, do we jump into this? Now, the Tomb Raider didn't work out for us, but this will. I believe this will be just fine. So, something to think about there, too. What is this, then? Bo that's bonus content. And there's the first. We got one, two, and three of that. Metal Gear. How many are in that? Hold on. Let me see something. Game library. Metal Gear Solid. But where's the actual? We got the, Oh, we got the Shadowrun games, too, guys. Forgot about those. Those are installed. Are they not installed? Looks like I just installed the first game of that. Hold on, let me go. Let me find that real quick. Let me find it. It would be um, Metal, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, these are not alphabetized at all. These are not alphabetized at all. Sort by most recent. Well, shouldn't it be right up here then? There, yeah, actually, there it is. So it's, uh, yeah, the, the Nintendo game. But these were the ones we played. Battle Gear Solid, Solid 2, Solid 3, Snake Eater. That game that they're remaking is going to be amazing. I'll, we'll, we'll get that day one when that comes out. They're remaking Solid 3. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. Now, I mean, we, we, got, we got stuff. We got stuff.
Nope, two clowns. <laughs> this comes out in June, UK, June 14th. It plays like Friday the 13th. Remember Jason, Friday the 13th? That's what it's going to play like. It's, it's online with other people. We got this next Sunday. And we'll finish this up soon, but I gotta be in the mood to get to, to, to do that. Yeah. Allie said start with what I got. And Allie doesn't want Dragon's Dogma. Allie doesn't want it. It's 4.30. I think I'll jump off here and get something to eat. Yeah, let's hope that I don't, uh, let's hope I don't forget how to play. See something real quick. Real quick. I'm not going to play a game, but I am going to see check something real quick. Let's see if I have been affected negatively from MLB The Show. We're going to do a quick practice because you can set this up for practice You're well, uh, really quick. Because if I start sucking, I know I got to play some this week because if I can't touch the ball, we'll do an exhibition. We need to be the away team. Um... Just play it. We'll do the 90s. All right, we'll do, we'll be this. Ego 70. Ready. And we need to say, well, any don't matter. Does it? Let's go practice mode on. Stadium. That's fine. What is this? This is a broken lineup. Why would he be in over Macho Man? We're going to leave it like this because it's just practice, but that's a broken line. This is not the real thing, so it doesn't really matter. But I thought DH was off. You know what? That's a problem. Let me go back. Hold on. That shouldn't. Oh, that's why. This. That's what broke it. Okay. Now I feel better. That's what broke it. Yeah, there we go. Now we're fixed. All right, we're just going to play. Come on, I just want to see if I hit the ball. You know what? It got a new map on Thursday, Natalie. We was going to play yesterday, but dude had to work. I couldn't get anybody together. It just came out a new, a new um, map. Let's do the baseball thing. Oh, good pitch. I can actually see the ball way better. Like, just from that right there. It's like it's they're rolling it in. Number one. And the base running is the same. Which is excellent. The buttons to run the bases and do everything is the same. Both games. Number thirteen. This game moves away quicker, don't it? This game that was high as all get out. This may have, this game moves way quicker, way quicker. Oh, wrong way. Trying to get on the top of that that curve. Eh. How about it? The catcher number sixty nine, Gianna Michaels. Look at that. It's a cool stadium. Yeah, we, we it's all right. We don't have a problem. Got to move him to a switch hitter. Randy Macho Man. How 
now batting at the right field number one. Jackie. Jackie Hernandez. Get under it. It's, it's a little bit different. You, know, you got to get used to a couple things, but I'll be all right. I'm actually Second seeing the ball better. I'm actually hitting the ball. Boo. I'm the only person who struck out at this point. He is throwing 99s there. Oh, good pitch. That curve almost got me. Now batting the first baseman, number 42. That's pretty good pitching right there. That's Jules on the mound, ain't it? The number the majority gets a little action in here. Getting me now, ain't he? Trying to power swing everything. My timing back. Number five, Johnny Lawrence. This game moves so much faster. MLB the show is very broadcasting you know very real life like, this is obviously the way it moves they're, they're, they're throwing him quick too he's got a 100 mile an hour fastball so we're seeing a really good picture here actually started all better than the And he won really good smack. Number 25, Randy Macho Man. Oh, yeah. Good pitch. A left handed second baseman. That's ridiculous. Now batting, a right fielder, number one, Jackie Hernandez. Let that go. Man. He's a great pitcher. Like the way he hits the corner, he's throwing a strike. Now batting the second baseman, number 33, Bo Bats. Bo Bats. Now batting the first baseman, number 42. Could have busted that. Should have busted that. Well, folks, looks like we're going to extra inning. Now that the center fielder number six is an extra inning. It's just back this one. Oh, I thought he was throwing a fastball. Now batting the shortstop, number one. He's definitely fast. But compared to MLB The Show, it's not as fast. It's its own brand of fast. Now batting the left field, number 13. Hey, 
And with us moving into 70 Ego, it's obviously much, Nevada. much more difficult. Hatcher, number 69, Gianna Michaels. Oh! Gianna popped it up. She could have went yard. Now batting. Third baseman, number 25, Randy Macho Man. Macho got it. There we go. That was even a fastball. 402. How about it? The right field. Number one, Jackie Hernandez. Jackie better be here next week. We're going to kick her booty off too. Pitch. That'll always be a problem for me. Changing speeds of the back and forth like that. Number 33. I forgot I wasn't holding power. Even though I can see the ball much better, it's still very difficult. Especially with this uh, 70 ego, man. They don't play around. You got to be right on it. Right on it. UK flew out to David Hasselhoff. The pitcher, number seven. Come on, majority, give it a ride. This guy's still 100 mile an hour. This was a bad pitcher to pick. Well, I guess it was probably a good one, right? Because we, we know it doesn't get any harder than this. A constant 100 mile an hour thrower. Now battle, the center field, number five, Johnny oh, yeah. Lawrence. Okay, that's different. That's different. Oh, that should have hit the base. That should have hit the base and popped up. The shortstop, number one. Just on heat. Jeez. I don't think it matters what, I mean, that, the good news is I'm not being negatively affected by MLB The Show. And it's not going to hurt either way. It's just a you different style. Like How about it? The catcher, number 69, Gianna Michaels. Base number 25, Randy Macho Man. 100 is so tough to hit. Ow. Uncle Phil didn't have the move. The right field, number one, Jackie Hernandez. I don't remember what the leadoff is. How about it? The second baseman, number 33. Do you even lead off? How about the first baseman, number forty-two? Oh, that's a double play. Wow, UK beat that out. He slow as crap. The pitcher, number seventeen. Come on, majority. Come on, smash it. 100 mile, two, 200 mile right, right in the middle there. How about it? The center. I mean, not much has changed really on this. Johnny Lawrence. How about the shortstop, number one? What? How about it? 
The left That's a bull crap right there. 13. Jeez, 100 mile an hour is crazy. Say, like, get tired, sucker. Get tired. No. Oh! And I swear it's some trash. Yeah, that's Jules from uh, Pulp Fiction out there, I believe. Everything's 100 mile an hour. 100 mile an hour, 100 mile an hour, 100 mile an hour. Settle down. They throw something off speed and I smack it 200 million feet out of a uh, foul. Third baseman, number 25, Randy Macho Man. Come on, one more. One more, more big bang. Right field, number one, Jackie Hernandez. Give it to me. Dang it. Second baseman, number 33. Now batting, the first baseman, number 42. Oh. Here we go. Number 17. That's awesome. That was a good ting. The good ting, majority. Ting. Where's this guy's curveball? Where's this guy's curveball? What's he doing? Center fielder, number five. Johnny Lawrence. Can't get a curveball, save my life. And you know that's when we lose games no matter what. Oh, he put the ball away. No, inside. That was it. Outside. Oh, he threw it again. I was not ready. Over oh, shows a fastball. How batting? The left fielder, number 13. And I flew out right to center. I am curious about our schedule. I'll figure what it was. I'm going to look at our schedule real quick before we turn this off. I just want one more good smack. Gianna Michaels. That's the ball. Come on, Macho. You did it earlier. Do it again. Randy, Macho Man. Do it again, Macho. That was probably a ball. Nope. Inside. Ooh. That was a good catch. I didn't think they were going to get up there with that. Right fielder, number one, Jackie Hernandez. So fast. I don't like how they lead off like that. I'll tell you what. The show's better when it comes to that. The first baseman, number 42. Oh, UK almost had one. But he didn't. 
Batting, the, pitcher, number the, the most unlikeliest hero here. Oh, jeez. Looks like impossible to hit a home run. Number five, Johnny Lawrence. We don't play these guys to start the season, do we? <laughs> oh, Johnny shattered the crap out of that bat. Hey, did they get the crowd fixed? Because they're wearing all green. The short stuff. Number one. I don't know. That might be because they don't have a little. Oh, they don't. They didn't use as many colors as me, maybe. You hope they didn't get the, the colors fixed. Number thirteen. Let me give it a ride. Yeah, but that's them. That's their colors. Majority of their green and yellow is their colors. Oh, you mean there are shirts? Yeah, you're right. I see yellow dongs. You're right. The yellow ones are dongs. I thought that was their... Because since second, yellow was their secondary color, I thought that was for them. That's actually ours. This is crazy, man. How do I look at the last pitches? I don't remember. Let's go. That is not the same. How about it? Third baseman, number 20. Yeah, we'll check. I just want to get one more. Macho hit one. I want to hit one more good one. Ah! One more good one, and I'll, I'll, I'll feel like we'll be done. A lot of these I I'll, I need to be laying off of. If we were playing a real game, I wouldn't be swinging probably. Number one, Jackie probably. Hernandez. I need to be a little more patient. I'm just trying to hit everything. Now that gets me every time. How about it? The second baseman. Number 33. Yeah, it's next. Next, I'm just practicing right now. I was curious if playing MLB The Show messed me up, and it, it didn't. We're just playing a good, really good pitcher practice move right here. But we, we were hitting him a little bit, but not like I want. I'm just late, but see, that's not changed. That's no different. I actually see this ball better than I do in MLB The Show. Oh, this is practice, dude. We're playing practice, and they walked him. Are you going to walk me in practice? How about it? We're struggling. We are really struggling right now. But I think... Oh. It's the new ego. It's not... The 70 ego is really going to make things tough on us. The shortstop, number one. It's going to be just like anything, you know. Some of the pitchers are going to whoop. Some of them are not going to be able to touch. He's a good pitcher. He's throwing 99 to 100 every freaking pitch. Number 13. Okay, I got it. That was a low fastball. There we go. A low fastball. I wonder how fast it was. We'll finish this little inning thing out, which is just one out, and we're done.
There we go. Oh, I felt fantastic. Woo, that was way out of here. How far was that? 499. Gianna put some titty into it. How about it? The third yeah, okay. All right, we're good. That's, that's two home runs in a row. We'll do this in a row. Yeah, I'll just gonna swing. Well, that was a ball. All right. In practice. Back to back dongs. I felt good. One was a fastball that I hit, and Jana obliterated that ball. Four ninety nine. All right. So if we go play, it's Piro. Uh, season. Yeah, our new one. Continue. And our view schedule. We're starting off with the sweet titties. That's right. That's right. It's Jimmy versus Licky Dong Cocky. And then Majority's going up against Les Bien. That's right. And then it'll be Baron, uh, Baroness and then Moreno. But then the Ninjas, Overdogs, Moonstar. We do. Yeah, I don't see the 90s anywhere there. All right, so good news, good news there. We don't have to deal with that pitcher. Two at the Sweet Tits home. We, we do have a home opener. We should. We won the World Series. So so two home, three away. Actually, five away. And we, we will finish the stream at game number 10 uh, at the Swashbucklers. Yar. Charles Vane, Flint, Blackbeard, Captain Crunch, all the classics. All right, good, good, good. I feel good, and yeah, there's, there's to be, there's the start right there. Licky versus Jimmy. Yeah, those guys already started their season because we got to our game. We, we seen, we played who? The Night Bats lost their game. what we got. Yeah, les lesbian. We I don't know if we can look at the other um if you want to see the other if you want to see the sweet tits. So here's the roster. Boobs bounce a lot. Tits McGee. Horgina Whacket. Titty Sprinkles. Hell of a trickster. Girly Eater. Titty bit nipply. Areola Grande, everybody's favorite. And it, uh, on the mound will be Licky Dong Cocky. And then if you look at the... Uh, over here we got Lactates Thirsty. <laughs> Milky Fun Bags. Miso Horny. Licky Nips. Giggly Grips. And then the uh, pitchers there, uh, Lesbian. Uh, Betty Sucks It, Ivana Hump, Susie Lixen Balls, Poonsley Cummings, Booty Butt Cheeks, Debbie Goes Downer, and of course the closing pitcher, uh, Sally Sucks A Lot. <laughs> and yes, we came up with every one of those names, except for that uh, Cum Cumsley Poonsley, that was actually created by them. I was already there, which was hilarious. So some some pretty good names. They're a division rival. I mean, anytime you got the you got the sweet tits and, and the dongs together, it's always a party. You see their their logo or their their logo on their uh, see their their jerseys. It's got the baseballs. I drew nipples on them. <laughs> Yep. Any any time you you get the dongs and the in the uh, sweet tits together, it's, it's it's a good time. It's it's a good game. It's a good game. Yeah. See the sweet tits top there. They've been in our division for a very long time. Should be fun. Should be fun.
I mean, it does. It was like. It had, uh, you know, it's got a totally different feel than MLB The Show, but the games are different enough to where I can identify. You know, it's not. It didn't throw me off any there. It might take you a little bit to get used to it real quick, like a few batters, but like you know, it's it's the same, but it's different. You know. Now the the leadoff thing was different. The base controls were different. I don't have to look that up. Because in MLB The Show, uh, if you tap L1, they take an extra step, an extra leadoff, and you run with L2. L1 ran on this game. It might be the opposite, so that'll kind of suck. But other than that, everything else is the same. Running like running the bases themselves and playing and all that, all, all the buttons do the same thing, so not a problem. Even L1 is cut off just like that, so good stuff, good stuff there. All right, well, I think I'm going to jump off here, guys. It's 5 o'clock. I'm going to get something to eat. I don't know if I'm going to come back or not. I don't know. I don't know. It's get, it's get, it's getting late. Definitely getting late. I don't know if I wanted to jump on Metal Gear. It's such a good game. We got other stuff to do. Or Skull and Bones, you know, tonight. Um, I see you sent me a message, dude. I didn't get a chance to look at it, though. But you said you'd be around, like, later on tonight. I did. I played this morning and got some stuff done, what I needed to get done. So, I don't know. I mean, if I was to do a... I just don't know if I'm ready to start Metal Gear. You know, you know what? Before we go, that's the last thing we're going to do. Hold on here. The last thing I'm going to do. Yeah. So it's like Metal Gear Solid, the beat that game, it's only like a 10 hour game. I mean, that's nothing. I don't know. I might want to play Metal Gear. I don't know. I'm going to jump off here now. It would be on a separate stream. Obviously, I'm turning the stream off. I'm going to jump off. Let me get something to eat. Um, what did you guys say? You was going to be around or not? A majority of you said you would. What about you, Jimmy? Natalie? I know, I know it's getting late for you, Natalie. I understand that. And UK is probably already snoring. But this is that's not a big deal. Um, Eleven hours. We play it three or four tonight. Oh crap! Well, I'm glad I did that, right? We play it again some other time. Two or three more times, we're done. I mean, that's a normal game. Eight to ten hours is a pretty standard game. Confirm. Do they don't even let you look at it? Confirm, agree, and dis... What? Why can't I... Are you... Okay. Holy crap. That was weird. That looks cool. Download what? Oh, it's European packs. Language, I want it. English. That's pretty cool. It's like an interactive book. OK. 
Okay. It said, Ring. screenplay book? What's this? Is that the same thing? Did we not just look at this? Oh, I can't read that word. We're going to back out of that too. Yeah, we're just going to have to play the game. Metal Gear Silent, which is the game. Metal Gear Solid VR missions. I remember that. That was a totally separate disc. You guys remember that on PlayStation? The special missions, the VR missions, the special missions, and tactical espionage actions in Metal Gear Solid Integral. I don't know what Integral is. That's new. 99. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we would just play the normal one. Released in 98. That old? Metal Gear Solid is that old, guys. 1998. That's pretty crazy. All right, um, yeah, I'll respond to your message there, dude. All right, we'll jump off here. We'll see. I'll, I'll talk to you guys on Discord. All right, we'll see how things go. Jimmy and the majority said they'll be around, and now it's got to go to bed soon. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. So let me jump off here. And if I come back, it'll be a member stream only. Members only stream anyway, so no big deal. It uh, just depends on how I feel. It's only 5 o'clock, so we'll see how I feel. So, all right, guys, I'll uh, jump off here, and I'll uh, I'll let you all know on Discord here in the next hour or so what I'm going to do. Just we'll, we'll see how it goes. But at any rate, thanks for uh, hanging out today on Easter Sunday with the golf, and um, we'll uh, we'll play you know we'll play golf as whenever.